if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Beloved, well, good guys, morning to all of you. I pray all is well with you, that you are having a blessed morning. It is Labor Day, and so we should be, uh, um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to be relaxing today and kind of um, resting from my labor. <laughs> Praise God from Zion. So, good guys, morning. Good morning, good guys, morning, Maria Sanders. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Kanita. Patrick, it's good to see you. Good morning. Good guys, morning to all of you. Good morning. Good guys, morning to you. Uh, but again, I pray all is well with you on this day. I hope you maybe you're getting some rest. Um, amen. Maybe you'll get some rest today or chill out. Amen. Uh, I, I, I believe that's what I'm going to do for the day. Amen. Just rest from my labor. All right. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning, First Lady. Good morning. Good guys. Morning to you. Let us get our scripture for this morning. Good morning, Sister Victoria. Good morning. Good guys. Morning to you. Good morning to you. All right. Scripture this morning is coming from Psalms 27, verses 7 and then 9 and 10. So songs, the 27th song, verses 7 and then 9 and 10, okay? It says, hear my voice when I call, O God, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. O God, my Savior, Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Mm, good God Almighty. That's something powerful right there. And that's something that probably hits home to some of you. Um, because sometimes we find ourselves in this walk of life when mom and dad are, are have turned their backs and walked away. I don't understand that. Um, I don't understand that, but things happen, you know. Um, good morning, Sister Teresa. Um, I don't understand how any mother, any father could turn their back on their children. I, 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 I don't. Um, but the one thing that we should always remember, the one thing that we continuously have to uh, proclaim you know, as we, the people of God, know, others may not know it. The sinner may not know that. The sinner may not know that, you know, even though your mom or dad may have turned their back on you because of whatever you have done. And again, I, I don't understand that because my children are my children, you know, and, and right or wrong, you know, mess up, screw up, whatever, good, succeeding, not succeeding, they're still my children. And you have some people who, you know, are opposite of that. Um, and, I, and I've seen it firsthand. And, you know, they, they I, you know. <laughs> um, but one thing you got to know, and one thing that we have to tell them, because we, as children of God, we know that Christ is always there. The Bible says, the Word of God says that when my mother and father have forsaken me, God will lift me up. And this is what this, is what they say. Um, this one says God will receive me. He will lift me up. He will take me in. He will, he will, he will be that mother and that father that, um, you know, my, the physicals have, have decided not to be. We've got to learn and we've got to proclaim that to them because many of them don't know. They're out there wondering, feeling like nobody loves them. Nobody cares. You know, hear them. And here it is. He says, hear his cry. Um, David is talking. He says, hear my cry. 
hear my cry. You know, I'm going through something, God. And that's that's basically what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to get at here today. The scripture says that this person is going through something. They're going through anguish. They're 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 asking God for mercy. They're they have understanding, they've come to the conclusion that their mother and their father have forsake them. But God, you are my helper. You are my keeper. Don't don't hide your face from me. Everyone else, mom and dad, the one that I thought was gonna be there forever, have turned their back on me. But Lord, I'm your servant. You've been my helper. <laughs> so don't turn your back on me. You know, one thing that I, I'm so um it brought tears to my eyes yesterday. Um even having conversation after yesterday's service, many of our people had had not taken communion in years. <laughs> in years. Because of what people have said. And, and maybe, you know, some of them just, just not even being in a setting where they are offered communion and they could take communion. But yesterday, many of those were able to partake of the Lord's Supper. To be able to partake and sit at the table with the other believers. <laughs> sit at the table and and, 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 and and commune, you know, be in a covenant relationship. Because if you don't know what I'm talking about, y'all need to go back and watch the sermon from yesterday. I'm, I'm going to post it. It should be on Facebook anyway, but I'm going to post it to our YouTube today. Um, be in a covenant relationship with not just God, but also their fellow brothers and sisters. It was just beautiful yesterday. It, it was so, it was just, wow. And that's what it's all about. Us being able to come together because at the end of the day, I have no heaven or hell to put nobody in. I can't tell nobody. You can't take communion. I can't tell nobody. You, you, you can't fellowship with us or you can't, you can't, you know, you can't commune with us. Who am I? I I'm, I'm a sinner myself. That needs God's grace. And I'm grateful that he gives it to me. Hallelujah. And so, you know, they came and they they, they sat at the table and they partaked of communion. And it was just beautiful. And they had a story behind it to tell me. Some of them had told me it before. But they had some of them told me afterward. But it was just beautiful. That God, he, he sits and waits. He doesn't shut the door like family members. Mom, dad, the people that you think that would never shut the door. But he sits there and waits. He continues to be that helper. He continues to be that keeper. He continues to be there for us when we need us. He hears us when we call. He hears us when we call. He continues to be there. And he offers his sacrifice, what he did for us years ago, to us continuously. Not not putting him through that again, but he says, look, I already did it for you. So no matter what you may have done, no matter what you may be in, in involved in, engaging in, I'm here. I've already taken that sin away. I've already forgiven it, forgiven you for it. Here I am. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you and I see you. We some of us just want God to or uh, people to hear us and people to see us. And beloved, can I tell you that sometimes people ain't going to hear you and people ain't going to see you. But it's God that's going to be the one who hears you late in the midnight hour when you when things are just when nobody else is around. It is God who sees you when no one else is around and 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 you you know you're you're all by yourself that's what you got to remember that no matter what you go through no matter where you are no matter what you find yourself engaging in or whatever he does not reject you he will never forsake you but he hears you he sees you let's pray Father, we thank you, God, for this word this morning as a constant reminder to us that, God, you hear us. God, you see us. You are our helper. You are our God. And no matter what we 
have done, no matter where we find ourselves in life, God, you're still at the door knocking. And he said, whoever hears the knock and opens, you will come in and sup with them and they will sup with you. Father, we thank you for being the consistent thing in our lives. When family members have gone away, when, 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 when those we, we think that should be most consistent in our life have walked away, God, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. Father, it's my prayer this morning that someone who's watching this morning or will watch this later, God, that they understand that you have always been there, that you will always be there, and that you're there right now knocking, waiting for them to open the door. God, we give you glory today. We give you praise. Thank you for being our, our helper, our keeper. Thank you for always being our, our God and our Lord. Thank you for always opening the door, even when we have shut it, God, in your face. You have, you're still there. And, Lord, we thank you. We thank you that we, we that there's nothing that we could ever have done that would that cause you to turn your back on us. He said, if I make my bed, the Word of God says, if I make my bed in hell, that you are their God, and we're grateful for that. We thank you, O oh God. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Bless those who are watching this morning. Bless those that will watch this later. And God, bless those that may have already been on this morning, that they too can hear this word and experience the undeniable love that you have for us. We give you glory today. We bless your name, because you are worthy. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Good guys morning to y'all. Good guys morning to you. Listen, join me tomorrow for uh, another good guys morning moment, 8 a.m. We'll be right here ready to give God praise, glory, and honor and see what he says for tomorrow morning. Get some rest today. Chill out. Have some fun. You know, enjoy your family. I don't know about y'all, but I don't get these days often. So let's enjoy family. Enjoy, you know, our loved ones, okay? Good guys morning to everybody. Good guys morning, Lady Karen. Good morning. <laughs> Good guys morning, Sister Sanders. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Sister Perry. Good morning, Sister Victoria. Good morning, Sister Teresa. Good guys morning. Good guys morning. Good guys morning to everybody. I think I say hello to everybody. If y'all missed you, charge it to the phone and not my heart, okay? Good guys morning, everybody. Good guys morning again. Patrick Harmon, good guys morning. Good guys morning. Good guys morning. Good guys morning, everyone. All right, good guys morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Monday. It's Labor Day, so rest from your labor, okay? Those of you who are off today, rest from your labor. Just chill out, okay? All right. Good guys morning to you. We'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place, for another good guys morning moment. God bless you. Good guys want to tell you. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in.